Welcome to Movie Recall in today's video. We will be going through the 2011 movie, No Strings Attached. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers, ahead, the movie starts. And we are taking 15 years in the past where we see Adam and Emma meeting each other. In a camp as they talk, Adam goes on to tell Emma that his mom and dad might be having a divorce soon. Adam tells her that he is really upset, and Emma is really sympathetic towards him, and tries to comfort him. Adam tries to take advantage of the opportunity at hand and asks Emma if he can kiss her. But she says no, the scene then changes to five years ago, where both Emma and Adam have grown up, and they run into each other at a party. After so many years Adam tells Emma that he likes her, and she agrees to go on a date. With him, the scene changes, and we see Adam at a funeral. This is Emma's father's funeral, and Adam is also there. Adam is then introduced to Emma's sister named Katie. And after that, he leaves the scene then. Changes to just one year ago. Emma runs into Adam Ilu Patrice, and Adam's girlfriend named Vanessa. We are now in the press, and Adam is now a writer. But he hopes to become a big movie star one day, just like his father. His dad is a very successful man, and he lives in a big mansion when Adam gets home. His dad is just coming out of the pool, and the old man goes on to ask his son to punch him as hard as he can, and Adam tells him he cannot do it, because this man is old and could end up getting hurt Philip. P then goes on to congratulate his son for writing on a show, but Adam tells his dad that he is nothing more than an assistant. His dad says he can call a big agency and get him a big role. But Adam refuses, saying he does not believe in nepotism. His dog then comes running towards him, and it is being chased by Vanessa. Adam broke up with her a year ago. But after that, she has gotten in a romantic relationship with his dad. Adam is disgusted to see that, and goes on to punch the old man in the gut Adam jog, always to see his friends, and tells them what he just saw. And they try to console the heartbroken boy. Adam is devastated when he realizes that he is not even close to his father in both his career and love life, too. He decides that he is going to make a phone call to every girl girl he knows, and is going to keep asking them to see him, until one of them agrees his friends do not think it's a good idea. But they still support him. He is really drunk and starts dialing. Now the next morning, we see Adam Wa king up on a couch of a stranger, and he does not even know the girl's name she goes on to introduce herself as Shira. And the boy realizes that he does not even have his clothes on, and starts thinking that he might have slept with this girl. This is when a huge guy comes in, and he's holding Adam's. Shirt Adam is devastated to see that, because he realizes he could very much have slept with that guy. This is what a friend named Patrice comes out, and Adam is happy to see a face he knows well, Patrice, chef, ox him when she goes on to tell him that it was her he slept with. This is when Emma also shows up, and he has no idea what is going on here. Emma finally tells him that he slept with none of them, Emma, then tells him to follow him to her room, and as they get there, he goes on to ask her how on earth did he get into her room and she tells him that he was the one who drunk dialed her late last night, she tells him that he came to her place, thinking it was his place, and then he just started taking off his clothes, he's really embarrassed about all this, and goes on to apologize to her. She then tells him that he even danced naked and it was fun to watch he then starts telling her why he got drunk and Emma tells him that she is well aware of what happened because he told her the whole story before. He fell asleep last night. Emma tells him that she was amused by his presence and gave him a smile he goes on to say that he is really hurt after what his dad has done to him. He, however, adds that he is happy that Emma does not consider him to be a cheapster or a creep. Emma is again sitting with him at the edge of the bed as they talk, she tries to comfort him, just like she did 15 years ago, and as they talk things start to get intimate between them, and the next thing we know they're doing it. On Emma's bed when they are done having coitus, Emma tells him that he is not supposed to tell anyone that they did it. Emma also makes it clear that she is not at all interested in getting into a relationship right now, so when they meet each other, the next time they're going to pretend like nothing happened between them. But after a while, when Adam is sitting at a cafe, he goes on to call him, he leaves her a voice note, asking her when they are going to meet next. But he is shocked when he sees Emma walking. Towards him, she is with a colleague Emma, however, behaves very differently. She tells him that she is in a rush and has to be somewhere as soon as possible when she is about to leave. He goes on to tell her that she looks great, but she again pretends like nothing happened between them and makes an awkward face as she walks away from him without even saying thank you. Eli Adams' friend is also there, 
and he goes on to ask what has happened between him and Emma, and Adam tells him that they slept together the other day and Eli is really happy for Adam Adam, however tells him that she does not seem interested in him at all, because she has not returned any of his phone calls, and neither has she replied. To his messages, Eli then tells him that he should just move and try to get another girl because Emma clearly does not seem that into him. The scene then changes to a hospital lobby, where Emma is sitting with her colleagues. This is when we see Adam walking up to her, and he has a heart-shaped balloon in his hand and when she sees him coming towards her